Good morning. I've got the perfect opportunity today to go through the ideal beginner's workout because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing myself today and tomorrow. I need a nice smooth session today and tomorrow with low central nervous system stress because I'm just off the back of a few days of feeling sorry for myself with a diarrhea, stomach issue. It's just all gone to shit. So I'm past that now and I'm ready to smash it again. So yeah, I'm fit enough to train and I need to, to be honest, for my mental health because it's been like six days now since I've done a proper session. So I've got two days left now until I go on a remote expedition for four nights and five days um, on some remote islands in the Philippines. And so this is going to be my last time, last chance to go to a gym because I'm fit enough to train. Obviously, we're going to take that opportunity today and tomorrow. So I'm going to do one session today, one session tomorrow with seven exercises in total covering my full body. So this is an ideal workout for if you're just trying to build confidence in the gym, you just want a few exercises to get yourself in the gym, be confident with what you're doing. They're not technical movements at all. Like I said, no stress on the central nervous system. Ideal way to break you into the gym and start to build a base of muscle in an aesthetic way. Um, and build confidence up so you can move on to more complicated movements down the line. So the first four exercises today are gonna to be predominantly push focused and upper body focused. So let's get in there now and start the session. Also, I'm not getting dehydrated again if it's the last thing I do. So I've got <laughs> electrolytes in this, a whole liter of water and a Gatorade for this session because it gets extremely sticky in there. So uh, yeah, I've got all the fluids to replace the sweat uh, and I'm gonna take some salt tablets when I get back to the hostel as well because uh, yeah, I'm not letting that happen again. So this is exactly the kind of session you can just knock out in half an hour, 45 minutes. Whenever I get back in the gym after a little layoff, even if it's just a week or five days, I feel so sorry for people that don't train, honestly. I haven't even started, just after the warm up and one bench press warm up set. It just feels so powerful again. Right, so plan of action. They've got really heavy dumbbells here, so just on one warm up set with these 35s. And I'm gonna jump straight into the 50s for a set now. So if you're a beginner, I recommend doing three sets of eight to 10 reps. I'm gonna do three sets now, with, uh, two with the 50s. I'm gonna get about seven reps on both, and then I'm gonna make it a slightly lighter and then go for a third set of 10 as well. Buzzing with that, so I got two sets of seven with the 50s, then I moved down to 45 and got a set of 10. And before I got ill in this exact gym, I was doing 50 for three sets of seven, so exactly the same strength, which is extremely reassuring. I've still managed to eat quite well uh, during this gut issue, so I haven't actually lost much strength or, um, or body fat or size. So now while my stomach's fragile, I'm exclusively eating bananas, bread, uh, pasta, and then just like mm, lean meat like chicken and fish. Uh, so yeah, I'll just be on that for the next week until everything settles down. All right, second exercise is gonna be three sets of pull-ups or pull-downs. So if you can't do pull-ups yet, do pull-downs, but we're gonna be doing pull-ups on here. And normally I do weighted, but just like I said, taking it nice and smooth. So I'm gonna do three sets and just mixing up the grip. Uh, some neutral grip and some wide grip. So let's get into that now. and penultimate exercise, it's gonna be the lateral raise. So quite a difficult one to get that mind-muscle connection with. I remember it took me like a year or so to actually fully start to nail this movement, but you wanna keep your elbow slightly above your wrist at all times, and you're drawing up with your elbow. Imagine you're a puppet like Pinocchio, and you've got a string on your elbow, and it's bringing up your arm, keeping your traps down, but bringing up your arm, just using this delt, this, this lateral delt, to draw your arms up to level with you. So. Your arm should be, come to the same height as your body, and your elbow should be slightly above your wrist. Um, 
that's all there is to it. And then you, you're literally just using this muscle. And that's why you're traveling in the plane of motion that the fibers of the muscle travel in. So the fibers of the muscle run vertically like this. So that's why you're drawing the arm up in the same, in the same vein. So let's get on with it. So of the two workouts we're going to be doing today and tomorrow, this is more of the Hollywood superhero type workout because we're doing the most important muscles for an aesthetic physique. So we started obviously with our flat bench press which is going to be pec major, tricep and front delt and a bit of medial delt. Then we moved on to a, like pull ups which is obviously your lat which are crucial in adding width to your upper body because obviously it gives you that that V shape and then biceps as well, of course. And then we moved on to lateral raises, literally just targeting the lateral delt, isolating the lateral delt, which adds to that overall width. So we've done obviously lat for width, lateral delt for width, that bench for that, that chest thickness. Um, and now finally, we're gonna move on to an overhead press. So this movement, again, is gonna be a lot of tricep, a lot of front delt, uh, and a bit of medial delt as well. And in terms of rep ranges for the pull-ups, in case I didn't mention, I did four sets of 10 there. And then for lateral raises, I did three sets of 12. Uh, and now moving on to the overhead press, I'm gonna work in about the eight rep range, so about three sets of eight here. And if you're new to the channel and wondering why is this guy sweating so much and why is he wearing flip-flops in the gym, it's because I'm in the Philippines, so I'm currently traveling. Uh, there's way more videos on my channel that explains why I'm doing what I'm doing, but yeah, just getting some workouts in while I'm away and helping you guys get into shape as well. So yeah, let's move on. Alright boys and girls, that is part one of two complete, so I'll see you tomorrow morning for the second stage. Uh, thank you very much for watching, see you there.